Carnival Esta, World 9. It used to be classified, but it's not anymore. You might notice the on-screen data on here as well. Well, you probably remember the simulation screenshot too, right? Well, this time, it's for real. Lives. If you're familiar with video games, you should know what this is. If this is zero, it's game over. Time. Well, this normally would be going down, but it used to be what this was, the total time elapsed. And just so you know... Hmm, yes, I just paused the game, nothing special. But watch. Wow, one millisecond with the oddball gap. That's because, instead of 60 frames per second, which is what this is, it's actually 960 frames per second. That's how fine the motion really is. And there's a good reason for that. And by the way, if this is zero, this goes down. Hmm. Score. You should be familiar with what that is, right? Well, one millisecond left on here by the time you complete the level. Five points. Multiply the difficulty and, well, it goes up even more. Trouble is, higher difficulty, less available time. But items like these make up for that. This is 300 points, which becomes 30,000 at difficulty 6. This is 300,000 at difficulty 6, or 1.5 million at difficulty 8. Not bad, huh? Well, HP. Well, that's basically your health. Oh my, it's going up. Well, it's raising this is not going to be as easy as just simply pressing a key and holding it down. Not even close. But, I just want to show you something. Now watch the life bar. Wow, it depletes. Oh my. Now watch the text. It's yellow. That's a warning that your HP is getting low. And, notice the fade to red. And if, and if it goes like this, this goes down and you restart the level. Exception is boss levels. You'll just eventually, you'll just lose a few seconds, but overall, nothing special. But, world. This tells you the ex exact level you're in. World 9 is Carnivalesta. World 6 is Cavern Forest. There's 18 worlds in all. This is the current stage within the current world. This would be a jumbo level. There's actually 16 levels in each world. 16. Well, I stated 15, but that's because I forgot about the tutorial level. That makes it 16. That's quite a few. The tutorial level is optional, though, but very useful. Speed. That should be self-explanatory. There's seven different units used. Miles per hour, as shown, but there's also feet per second, kilometers per hour, meters per second, and three that are unique to the game. Coordinate units per second, coordinate units per frame, and blocks per second. And frame, in this case, is based on 60 frames per second. And, well, that's pretty much all the year there is for that. So, you might be noticing this big start here. Well, this is the start platform. It sets basically your exact position in which the level begins. Nothing special. This, well, it's just my test level, pretty much. The same one as earlier, although there are some slight differences. Well, let's go look at the scenery. Of all the Barker stands, this one here is my favorite. Why? Well, there's a ball here, ball here, one way up here, two lodged here, and one way off over here. That's the funny thing about it. Its balls are littered all over the place. Race to the center. It's an archery game I played in seventh grade. I've got the rules posted on my site. Gone fishing. That's another one of those Barker stands. Nothing special there either. Video arcade. Well, that's where you play those bulky coin-operated video game systems. Nothing really special. And what's a carnival without carnival food? Ice cream, cotton candy, hot dogs, pizza, corn dogs, burger land for burgers, and you've also got lollipops. It's kind of running out of ideas on that one, so kind of question mark there. But that's basically what all the stands are, nothing really special. These are 200 feet away, and these are 400. But you also notice these colorful flags here that span from light pole to light pole. And of all the scenery present, this has got to stick out the most. It's a Ferris wheel. 
and, a, and its basic theme is that of a color wheel. It rotates counterclockwise, but the hue is actually increasing by 60 every time a white goes by. This is nothing special. It works the same way. These are also the same, except they follow a slightly different algorithm. See if you can find it. <coughs> roller coaster tracks. Now, what's a carnival without a roller coaster? Nothing special there. The Ferris wheel is 250 feet high. These are 110 feet high. And the edge of the carnival grounds leads to the grass, which leads to hills, then mountains, and really distant mountains. And if you look closely here, you can actually see these clouds are appearing right in front of these. This is a city. That's one mile right here. About. Nothing really special there. But watch this. Wow, the scene faded away. That's a special effect. Another easy one. And as you go up even more, take note that of the fog banding that I've got here. That's just another really cheap, simple, special effect. And if you look closely here, you can see how these mountains obscure these clouds, but these clouds are in front of them. In 2D, that's kind of a little on the little difficult side to do. 3D, it's easy. Nothing to it. But high above the clouds and starry sky is beautiful as ever. This world actually inspired me, keeps inspiring me to continue with this game. And it's actually inspiring me to get going on the character too, which is pretty much what the next stage is. And notice this banner here, the year. Yeah, that's when this game takes place, way into the future, although not really significant. But, yeah, that's a moving platform, a dynamic platform. But here's the one that's also a little more complex. Notice the difference in the speed here? This one's 50% faster. This is what the platforms will be like early on when you first encounter these, except they'd be both like this kind of width. Okay, well, there's otherwise nothing really different here. But at this point in the game, this is the kind of platform you'd be looking at, although a little narrower. And, furthermore, this one is a little advanced for its motion. Okay, this one here might take you off to an extra life. Very useful. This one might lead you to the gold platform. Better get there quickly. And this one might lead you to a, a diamond. Lots and lots of points. But that's pretty much all there is here. And notice the ground here as well. How it's textured, rich richly textured here, not so textured here, and it's gradually fading away. That's another special effect. Another easy one. But, another thing. Hmm, Cavern Forest. Familiar world, isn't it? Yes, this looks odd. It's a bug. I have yet to figure out what the cause of it is. But, anyway, you might also notice the scene seems kind of foggy, and, there's, and it looks slightly different. Yes, the river's there as well, but seems to be moving rather fast than what it was before. Well, that's because instead of it being out here, it's here. Half as distant. And on top of that, notice the fog here, and this fog bank here? Well, get low, and guess what? It fogs out even more and more. It's just another one of those cheap special effects. Easy to do. This is what the fallout point is now. Fallout point? Well, that's the point at which, if you fall below it, this goes down. Yeah, you lose a life. And you have to start the level again. But, 1536 is what it was. Now it's 1024. But, that's pretty much the only real difference there is here. Aside from the extra scenery layers. But, up above, guess what? Going up. Hey, you can easily see how the 3D effects are. But unlike before, where you couldn't see the clouds from up above, now you can. That's the nice thing. Back to Carnivalesta. And that pretty much concludes this video. This video was created by Ella Lelia. Thank you for watching.